travel back in time to small town Aotearoa and join three brothers as they land the opportunity of a lifetime opening for the legendary John Rawls in Wellington. All they have to do is to get there and not screw it up. And that is when the adventure of Larger Than Life begins. Please welcome to the cafe the hilarious show's co-writer, Chris Rex Martin, not Chris Martin from Coldplay, not Chris Martin the cricketer, Chris Rex Martin, the extraordinary talent, and stars Brady Piatti and Shadrick Simi as well. Welcome, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Sounds so extraordinary, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah, even that opening line, you know, small town New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Opportunity of a lifetime, let's not muck it up. So Chris, tell us more about the show. Okay, so uh, so it's about um, three young brothers back in, in small town New Zealand back in, in the 70s, 80s. We're pretty vague on the timeline, so we, you know, but um, uh, back back in the old days, and um, <laughs> so they're, they're, they're busking in, in Narawa here, um, Huntley-ish area, and, mm -hmm. and um, they get discovered by a talent scout who gives them this opportunity to go down to Wellington and open for John Rolls, but he doesn't give them any money or any bus tickets to get there, so they have to figure it out themselves. And the the, the joke that the whole play kind of um, relies on is the, the joke that back then there was only one bus for the entirety of New Zealand. So they, <laughs> they have to get on this bus and they have to go through all these different stops to get there and, um, and hilarity ensues. Oh, brilliant. Oh, so it's fascinating. So, Brady, who do you play? I play Rua, or Te Rua Wairere no Ranginui ki Papatunaku. Presley Jackson. <laughs> 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 Thanks for putting that on the bus sticker. <laughs> um, and he's the middle child out of the Oh, the one. middle child. Um, not the brightest bulb in the set, um, <laughs> but <laughs> he comes with his own comedy and his own funness. The so, middle child's always yeah. a difficult one. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a middle cousin, so I was able to jump into that very easily. <laughs> <laughs> and Chandra, yeah. what about you? Who do you play? Um, I play Tahi, um, or Te Whakako Tahi Tango Nga Iwi o Te Motu Boy George Jackson. <laughs> um, and I play the older, so I'm 12 years old. Yes. And I, Tahi's like the leader that wants to be the leader, but isn't quite there just as yet. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Chris, why, why the 70s and 80s? Um, well, well, it started off as an excuse to play some cool kind of old school Māori show band yeah. songs, and that's how, that's how the whole thing started. Mm -hmm. With a little bit of a shaky story and an excuse to play some songs on stage, and it's just evolved from there. The story's gotten stronger, and and so have the songs and and the, and the story. It's okay, mm -hmm. so is it is it a musical, or is it, it a music? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay, because it was such a golden era of the 70s and 80s with John Rolls and the New Zealand television as well, the show band type of era. Mm. Uh, so, what sort of songs do you do? Well, it, it's kind of it, it's kind of very um, it's it's like Forrest Gump meets Boy almost. So we oh, kind of yeah. we kind of meet famous Kiwis before they were famous. So we meet the the top twins. We meet the Finn brothers when they were kids and, and stuff this like that. This is cool. And, yeah. Do we think feature some of their yeah. songs and so and many great ones? Yeah. Yeah. So and if you meet the top twins, are they in? Do they have? Yeah, there's only you three on stage though, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Yep. So we we, we play the top twins. Yeah. 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 How yeah. do you do that? Through them. Well, it's an obvious light like magic. Magic. Yeah. magic. Magic of theatre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of craftsmanship yeah. and timing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, in, it's in Māori and English as well. Uh, yes, there's Māori and English in, in, throughout the play. How do you yeah. inter intertwine all that? Well, you just do. It, that's where the yeah. call yeah. is. It's very yeah. satirical as well. So we look at the kind of race relations and stuff from back then and some of the crazy laws, the Muldoonisms and stuff, if you, if you will. And... Um, yeah, it's it's mm. it's very satirical, kind of wrapped up in a very fun, um, light musical package, which is. Mm. You've had some famous people come along and have a look already, haven't you? Yeah. Yes. Had, oh. What happened? Explain. In in Wellington, you want, you, you you explain the yeah. uh, Okay, so. Um, through in, in the show, when uh, my character Tahi falls in love with a girl named Georgina, mm -hmm. and so we were lucky enough that character is based off um, Georgina Bayer, oh, and she came to our opening show in Wellington. Yeah. Um, we got to serenade her, yeah. and she sang with us. Hey, it was yeah. yeah. She's so beautifully poised, and she enjoyed the show. Yeah. So we she were gave very it the seal of approval. That was a dream come true. Oh wow, yeah, that was yes. awesome. I guess a big question though is John Rolls. You got him to come along? You're going to get him to come along? Ooh, you need to get so. him to come along. You need to get a John, 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 John Rawls. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> Which camera is the John camera? Well, thank you, mate. <laughs> They're all the John camera. <laughs> How on earth did you come up with this, Chris? What, you're just lying in bed one day thinking about the 70s and the 80s? Yeah, it was... Um, uh, you weren't even born. Yeah. <laughs> so the original script, we, we did a little um, showing back in February. The original script, the idea 
started um, a friend of mine, Tainui Tokiwaho, who he owns Terehi, a theatre company who we're, who we're touring under. We've had him on the show. Yes, you have, yeah, yeah. you've had him on the show. He and his friend Albert Bells, um, he's a, quite a prolific writer here in New Zealand, they had um, the idea of this funny aesthetic of, um, well, us three as brothers, brothers as <laughs> brothers pretty much. And, um, <laughs> And then, then came the Māori show band idea, and then, then we had the, a showing in February, and it was a little bit of a shaky story with the excuse to play some songs, and we got some really good feedback. So, oh, nice. So okay, well, speaking of playing some songs, can you oh. can you bang one out for us? Yeah. Is that all yes. right? All right. Nice. Larger than life. Mm -hmm. You have to go and see this. This sounds fascinating, guys. It does. Sounds really good. Yeah, cool. It sounds funny. Fun. <laughs> yeah. So this is um, a Twitter cassette that oh, is great. featured in the show. Nice. Yes. Okay. Toru fa. I like singing this song because I have a lot of feelings. Not the fa fa feelings. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pagyals. I can't tell you what fa fa means. <laughs> These are the feelings from the heart. I got one in there somewhere. <laughs> this is a country and western song. If it brings you happiness and I wish you all the best it's your happiness that matters most of all yeah <laughs> Bagias, <laughs> that's a merry pudding. Loma Puenos, Panosto, yeah. I'll be there anytime. Oh, sorry, Fano, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you so yeah, much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. If you would wow. like to see the hilarious Large Than Life, it will be playing at the Pooh Theatre now and then at the Herald Theatre from June the 30th. Check out the website on screen for details. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Can you give them another round of applause? That was so much fun.